Hey guys, how are you doing? It's 8-Bit Eric. Today we're going to check out a game called Wildermyth. This just launched on Steam on the 15th, just a couple days ago. It's a turn-based tactical strategy RPG game inspired by Dungeons and Dragons, XCOM, and so forth. It has a pretty cool looking little art style. It's kind of like a paper Mario type of vibe. I've played a little bit of it. I'm going to go ahead and share it with you guys. Full disclosure, this is a sponsored gameplay video. There's a link in the description down below should you want to check this game out and I think you really should so I'm playing on my PC and I have um, my Xbox controller in so I've played for like an hour or so and played through a little bit of it I gotta say it is pretty challenging but it's fun if you're if you're uh, familiar with turn-based tactical RPGs um, You'll enjoy this game. So here's the map that I've uncovered so far. The main idea is that you have your recruits. So your main characters are called recruits. And depending on which territory they're in, you can see right now we're in Conkborn. And I have tier three defenses set up because there's incursions and uh, monsters that will make your way to that territory and fight. And if you don't have your, your defenses up, they'll take over that you know territory it will become a hostile territory so the idea is to right now i'm trying to make all these hostile territories not hostile anymore take them over and when you take them over you get options to different things like right now in conkborn i could craft new items and stuff or upgrade um and then you can see there's flower pose and all that right now i believe i am in um conkborn so I can click and move across. So this says it's currently not reachable. No, actually I'm in Battlewood because my characters got killed. Time is paused. So we're gonna go ahead and move forward. You can see it's, it's, I'm probably a mess everywhere because there's a lot of stuff in here. So now I have a new recruit. So if I wanted to recruit this character, I would have to um, make my way back over here. My characters, I just died not long ago. But you can see there's a uh, little cutscenes and stuff and I could choose um, what happens because one of my characters died I'm gonna go ahead and pick that we're gonna build a tomb so now I'm gonna come back over here I'm gonna recruit a new character and it does take time to uh, to travel so you can see my character is going to travel I got a new recruit so now I have a third member and uh, this is going to show something. There, there's different options and stuff, RPGs that happen. So you can see it's showing a little bit of a story and then it gives you an option. And you have different characters. See right now we're recruiting this new guy. We're gonna pick what his uh, his thing is so we could train him as a warrior a hunter or a mystic um, I'm gonna choose a hunter so I can have a long-range attack uh, and then right here I'm going to prepare the recruit which trained him we're gonna put him right here my two other characters they're still healing because we died um, but you'll see uh, you have to wait for time to pass and my two other ones have returned to action. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for time to pass to see if I could maybe get another recruit in my in my section. Actually, we can defend because we got we got invaded. So we're gonna go ahead and defend. So you're gonna see the battle now. There's an incursion. So the Draven have come. Bristling figures form in view. Others surely advance concealed. So. Uh, we could choose how we're gonna battle. We could take charge, take the fight to them. We could use our knowledge of the land, carry their approach, or stay hidden to last moment. I'm just gonna charge into battle. <laughs> so you can see it, it kind of gives you little cutscenes based on what you're doing. So here we go. You're gonna see the the board is going to be kind of like a Paper Mario type of vibe. So all foes equal one plus temporary hit point. And uh, shows you the foe cards. So here we are, we're in a section. So right now the enemies aren't aren't uncovered. But I could choose um I could choose different things. 
Um, I'll choose Silk Step. And I'll move her over here. Um, and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and move this character. You can see there's also um, scenery. You can destroy the scenery. So this will open up a new pathway for me to uh, to get by if I attack the scenery. Since uh, we're blocked. And let me just gather my barons. Okay, so there's a character over here. I can attack Volley of Arrows. Now check this out. Release Flight. And he blocked it. Um, but this game does take a little bit of getting used to. There we go. I did that. I managed to get his ass. <laughs> um, now, this character, I'm going to move this way. And actually, I'm going to move him around. He's a striker. Um, I don't see any enemies. This way. I guess I'll move. I'll move my character. I, I'm not too good at this game. I've died countless times. Countless times. Um, but I actually kind of. I, I do dig it. So you see, that enemy was revealed. And now they're coming towards us. I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna wait. Uh, I'll take my character here, and then I should be able to open this, this door. I'm gonna attack the scenery. There we go. Now I have a new area that I could... Come to. Let's go ahead and shoot. All right. And we'll go ahead and move up too because I don't want those guys to be alone. Which guy am I controlling? Strike. There we go. Uh, open the door. Oh, nope. Come on, open the door. So now it's the enemy's turn, but look how rough they are. I think I gotta upgrade my characters. Now obviously a 20 minute playthrough of this game is not going to do it justice. It is pretty pretty in depth and intense and there's a lot of stuff to uh to do with it. These enemies are smart. I might attack myself. Yeah, let's just come right here. Come this way. I think I'm going to move up more. Shoot. See, these guys are dodging everything. <laughs> Is it because I'm weak or because they're much stronger than me or, or what's going on? I'm not entirely sure. Now you can escape battle. There's like blue tiles that you can escape and find. Um. Fuck it, I'm gonna shoot. <laughs> I did a volley of arrows, but I think I'm gonna get hit anyway. I think I killed him. There we go. All right. I got one guy. 
I got one guy, so let's move this guy up. Um, it will ignite. There we go. Jeez. About time that guy got hit. <laughs> Or damage. I think that guy's about to die. So see, you can see when you're about to die, you can choose to inter interfuse with the staff or throw the staff. Uh, I'm gonna interfuse. You can see. I was able to, uh, to interfuse with that and get like some kind of special ability or something like that. It gives you different options like that. It looks like I'm not doing too hot. I'm typically not good at turn-based strategy RPGs like this. Like, the tactical ones, I always find myself, for whatever reason, getting insanely uh, destroyed, like so. So, if you were hoping for some pro pro gamer display of uh of action look i just got another guy revealed i think we just have two guys left and we're going we're gonna get into some trouble here so you can see all heroes block for three turns i just died i'm gonna die right here Volley of arrows. Let's do that. I definitely need to upgrade my character. So what we're going to do next is we're going to uh, obviously die. But we're going to see about what we can do as far as upgradings and other features go. Let's skip that scene. I think we lost. Yeah. Defeated. I'm not the best, guys, when it comes to, to games like this. So you can see retry. So, constructing a mission. Okay, so. I don't even know how I died that much. I had so many different. So many different characters, and I, I don't even know how I died. Okay, so let's try it again. Um, we're gonna come around this way. Uh, what's this? Is this a lever? Does this lever do something? I thought I saw a lever or something. You know what? We're going to shoot a volley of arrows right there. I'm right across. And we'll, oop, we'll, we'll move this way. Um, we'll move everybody out of the way. How about that? Oh, it's a shovel. I thought it was a le- it looked like a lever to me. Did it not? <laughs> Alright, so these guys are coming close. It's almost like we're severely... ...outnumbered. You know what I mean? Um He blocked it. There we go. Just move around. 
I think I'm doing better this go around. This guy's gonna kill me. I knew it. See, it's like one hit and I die. I, I guess I have to armor my characters up instead of going right into battle. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I, I definitely need to from the world map. This is a game that I'm definitely gonna have to come back to and uh, and play. To uh, to properly get the mechanics down, but I mean it's pretty pretty solid. You know what I mean? Of a of a type of tactical RPG. I dig it. Now you can interfuse, so you can see I interfuse with that, and then from here, I can attack. It's kind of like a different way of using like the scenery to attack your enemies. Oh, there we go, I killed that guy. <laughs> See, that guy just is way too strong. These guys are just... ...causing damage. See, he blocked that. See, I hate that. These are like some of the strongest, like... <laughs> Strongest enemies I've ever encountered in a video game. him he got me in return now Woo. okay we are doing much much light years better Come right here. <laughs> bye bye. Jeez, these guys block everything. <laughs> block for three turns okay I could do that since this character died looks like I just have one hero left so definitely a game that I'm gonna have to go back and uh, and definitely grind through maybe up 
upgrade the characters and stuff like that. Ugh. Definitely a pretty challenging game. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right there, guys. Again, I have a link in the description if you're interested in checking this game out. It just came out on Steam. I think it's pretty interesting, but I need to get good. I, I'm not good at action RPG games. There's a lot of different stuff that you can have in this game uh, that I just scratched the surface. Uh, but you basically expand the territories, fortify them. You uh, take care of the enemies as they in do incursions into your territories and stuff. You recruit, upgrade and stuff. So it seems pretty fun. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.